Okay, so this is going to be um, from my Concepts of Programming Language course. So basically talking about grammar and syntax and a little bit about compilers. Um, so you'll go over this in, in that class if you have to take it in computer science. So basically what it's going over is um, you're kind of getting to the point where you can build a parsing table and kind of like a compiler. So it kind of brushes over that and kind of how it works. Um, but basically you need to find the first set and the follow set to be able to create what's called like a parsing table. So we're gonna go over finding the first set of these rules, this grammar. So basically what that means is we're gonna find the first set of every um, non-terminal symbol. Non-terminal basically is going to be the guys all the way on the left and the terminal symbols are going to be usually like the characters or the language. So you'll see a plus symbol in here, um, kind of like the number symbol, the multiplication. These parentheses are actually terminal symbols. Um, I'm going to highlight these real quick. So basically, these are the terminal symbols. So I'm just going to put those in red. And I'm just going to underline these two instead of circle them. Because you have an open paren and a closed paren. And this just means or. So I'll kind of go over that a little bit better. But basically, when we find the first, so let's say first... Of, let's do E, first of E, what is the first of E? So basically that means follow the rule E and basically keep going until you get your first terminal symbol, which is one of these guys that I have highlighted here. Um, generally, your non-terminal symbols are going to be the capital letters and they're, they're all going to at least be listed over here on the left. Okay, so first of E. So go to E, um, go to the rule. So it basically says TR. What you're going to do is the first of T, which means go to T. So go to E. You don't, you don't see a terminal symbol. There's no terminal symbol here that you can pick up. So... Calculate the first of T. So now go to T. T says there's, there's no terminal symbol to pick up, so you're going to have to calculate the first of F. So now let's go to the first of F. What's the first of Let's do the rule for F. There is, we finally found a terminal symbol. It's the open paren. So let's put that in there. Now, the thing is, if you get to F, you can, that's what this or is, is for. You can either grab this terminal symbol, or you can, you can basically do this, or you can calculate that. So basically, if, if you're grabbing the first, you can either get this guy the first time, or you could get I. I is also a terminal symbol. So we have the open parentheses, and then we have the lowercase i. Okay, so that is the first of E. That is done. Now let's do the first of R. First R. So R is pretty easy. So if you look at the rule for R, boom, you got a terminal symbol right away. You got the plus sign. Now you have to watch out, you also have this or, so that means you can either grab this or you can grab that. So basically you can either get, you can generate the plus or you can generate the number symbol. Remember, the, the idea is to 
using this, starting with this uh, grammar rule, what terminal symbol can you generate first? What will be the first uh, terminal symbol that you can graph or you can generate? Okay, so now let's do the first of T. So first of T, let's go to that rule. The first of T, basically, let's follow that rule and see what we can generate. There's no terminal symbol that we can grab right away. So now we have to generate the first of F. Now, since we're generating the first of F, I thought we did it, Never mind. Okay, I thought we already had the first of F, but we don't. So we do need to find out what the first of F is. So first of T, let's go to the rule. It says F, um, so now we have to find the first of F. Let's go down here to F. Let's see what this rule says. It says we can grab the, the first terminal symbol that we're gonna hit is gonna be open paren and I. So open parentheses and I. Okay, so now let's do first of Y. The first sets are pretty easy, follow sets are, are the tricky ones. But you do need to calculate your, your first and They'll be used to calculate the follow sets, and both the first set and the follow set will be used to um, calculate your parsing table. So first of y. First of y, pretty easy. We go down, we find the rule for y. First of y, boom. The first character is a terminal symbol, which is the multiplication sign. And you gotta watch out for the or, a little bar here basically saying you can either grab this or you can generate the number sign so pretty easy done now last but not least first of that first of f we've we've kind of hit f a lot because f um was up here or we already hit it at least once so basically let's find f what is the rule for f basically says um, open parentheses is one of the first terminal symbols or you can grab i so i would be the other terminal symbol that you can generate okay so that is finding the first set for a grammar that's pretty easy um Next video, I'll do follow set.